The Zoom Question Manager is a Chrome extension that helps online educators take questions from Zoom participants during an online class. The way it works is that whenever a student or other participant were to ask a question in the Zoom chat and they start their question with exclamation mark question, it will show up as a question in the Zoom question manager. Alternatively, if a participant were to type a regular chat message, such as this, it will show up as a regular chat message in the Zoom chat manager dashboard. Now, the reason that this is useful is because it, one, provides a quick and easy and readable way to look at any questions that might be coming in. Uh, this is particularly useful if you are teaching um, and you are not necessarily very close to your screen, maybe because you're standing or maybe because you have um, multiple things open. And second of all, the Zoom chat is not particularly easy to organize. If you get a lot of questions, it's hard to keep track of which questions you've already answered. Or if you want to postpone a question, this can be tricky as you might have to scroll up to find a particular question in the chat. The Zoom question manager allows you to manage this by, for example, highlighting that you've answered a question, highlighting that a question needs your attention, for example, if you intend to postpone it, and once you're done with a question, you can click the archive button, which will move it into the history tab so that it's outside of your current view. The Zoom chat manager also provides two additional pieces of functionality. It allows you to add an audio meter. And this audio meter is particularly useful if you're using a microphone and you're worried that you might be too close or too far to the microphone. This audio meter will give you the ability to keep track of that. And if you're using a tool that allows you to use your webcam in multiple places, such as the software called ManyCam, you can also open up your webcam in this additional window so that it becomes easier for you to keep track of your framing and to make sure that everything is still nice and in frame. The way that the Zoom Question Manager works is that if you decide to activate it by clicking the Zoom Question Manager helper extension, then what will happen is a layer will form on top of a regular Zoom web client session. And the Zoom question helper extension will monitor any chat messages that are coming in and it will then transport them into this additional dashboard interface. The Zoom question manager does not save any data. It does not communicate any data with external sources. If you refresh the page, it will erase everything uh, and you will start off with a blank slate. You can install the Zoom Question Manager Chrome extension by going to the GitHub page, which is provided in the description, and then following the steps on how to install it and then how to use it. I will demonstrate these steps in this video. First of all, you have to make sure that you have the Chrome browser extension installed on your computer. Second of all, you need to go open up your Chrome browser and then go to this Chrome extension link. This will take you to the page in the Chrome web store. You can then add the Zoom Question Manager to your Chrome by clicking the Add to Chrome button. As you can see, it requires permission to access zoom.us web sessions. Um, the Chrome extension does not access any information if you do not engage it by clicking on the button. Once you've done this, you should see a icon pop up in the top right that says Zoom Question Manager. If it doesn't show up, you might have to click on these three dots in order to make it appear. You've now successfully installed the Zoom Question Manager. If you want to use the Zoom Question Manager, what you have to do is you first have to start a Zoom session um, in the way that you would normally do so for example, through a desktop client or maybe through a web client in a separate tab. You then go into your Zoom session and you need to click invite and then copy URL. You then open up a new browser tab. You copy in whatever the URL is that you just created in the Zoom client and you need to make two adjustments. 
you need to replace the forward slash j forward slash with forward slash wc forward slash and you need to add forward slash start at the end. So in this case, we do that and then you click enter. Now at this point, it's important that you do not touch anything with regards to this screen and you immediately, once it's loaded, go to the top right and you click on the Zoom Question Manager extension. This will now open up the overlay, which is on top of your Zoom web session, and you're now ready to go.